Hey everybody. Um, we've been doing a little bit of a philosophical group of ITL, so today I thought we'd uh, get back to what we do best, drums. Um, sometimes when you are working with a, a drum, you think that that particular drum is what has to generate your reverbs, your um, delays, the, the, the sound. That's not true. I'm going to show you a couple little little things. I made a copy of the original snare, which is here. I don't know if you can see my thing. Um, and, and then uh, this track here is a copy. So what I've done on this copy is I've placed my favorite trigger, call trigger. I'm gonna let the sample that I generate with, with trigger, I'm gonna let that control my reverb. So um, let's do this. Here's, here's the original snare. Now if we put a reverb on that, Not bad. Now let's do this. This, on our copy right below that, let's put trigger on there and let's put a kick drum. Um, so I've just got a basic kick drum. Okay, this is what the, this is what the kick drum sample sounds like. Okay, so that's our kick drum sample. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to send the kick drum sample to a reverb, not the snare itself. So the kick is triggering the reverb. And of course I've taken the kick out of the stereo bus. So all we're hearing is the return from the reverb generated by this second track here. Now let's add that to our original snare. Take it off. Good. On. Okay, so what what that's one example of of, of, of what we can do. Now, let's say I had a a a, a program snare but I wanted to give it a little bit of a vibe I could trigger the the reverb for that snare from a live snare gosh I mean the sky's the limit with this technique now now let's see what happens if we if we put a little reverb on a little EQ on it before we send it to the reverb So you see, kind of the, the, the possibilities are, are, are limitless. Now let's try something else. Let's say you've got a sample and you like the decay of the sample, you like the ambience on the sample. Well, what you can do is you can, you can take the sample, like here's the sample. Well, what I did was I took just this part of the sample And I say I save that. Now watch what happens. I saved it as ITL7. So now when we trigger our sounds. Okay, so you see now I brought that just that little tail of the sample. That's being triggered. Now let's add that to our snare. 
Okay, so this is what we got with it in the track. I'm gonna mute it. Crank it up, let's crank it up. There you go, so you can take pieces of samples, you can take words, every time, every time the snare hits, you can have a word go off, you can do whatever you wanna do. You can do it with kick drums, you can do it with all kinds of things. Let me show you a couple more little, little examples. I've got a clap sound that I, I like. This sample is kinda clappy. And let's let's add that into our live snare and see what happens. Without it. We're not trying to make it sound R and B. We're just trying to add a little bit of, a little bit of aggressiveness to the snare sound that, that 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 sometimes it's hard to get. But I think that's a, that kind of gives you an idea of of another way to, to accomplish some of this stuff. Another thing we can do, I had a snare, a real snare sample. I wanted to show you. Now what we can do with this is let's take it out of the stereo bus and let's put a little EQ on it. Add it to our reverb. Take our sin to the reverb from this the, the snare and just add a little bit of mid-range and gives a little bit of an aggressive thing. Let me take it out. Let me solo, solo, solo what I'm doing for you. I wish there was a quick way to do this. Probably is. You guys will let me know, I know. So that's what I'm sending to the reverb. Like, like I always tell you guys, don't, don't just look at what I'm showing you as the end result. What I always tell you and what I'm gonna always tell you is, let this be an example of how there are no limits, there are no rules. You can do anything your mind can think of, you can find a use for it. Um, and then in, in, in an upcoming ITL, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you how to do some similar things with vocals. So stay tuned for that. Thanks.